Now that we're done with the uh, image form in a concave mirror, let's proceed to a convex mirror. So again, you have this. This is the center of curvature and the F. So, for example, you have an image or a, an object here. You have an object here, right? This is your object. So again, we follow the rules stated in your book. The first one is the PF uh, ray. So it's parallel and then it will um, be aligned with the focus. Now. <clears throat> so I will draw a light ray from the top of the arrow, which is parallel to the principal axis which is here right it hits this part and please understand one thing please understand that this is a mirror so this light ray here will never pass through the mirror and pass through I will never pass through the mirror and align with the focus like this it's a mirror, so when it hits the surface, it will be reflected somewhere, right? But unlike in the concave, where you have a parallel ray, then it passes through the focus, right? In this case, it cannot pass through the focus because this light, this object is an opaque material, so it will not be able to penetrate the mirror, right? But still, it's the same concept. The parallel ray will, instead of pass through the focus, it will align with the focus. What that means is, you put your ruler like this, right? You align it with the focus, which is this one, and then you start here and the light rays reflect it this way. So the light ray is reflected that way. Right? So it hits the mirror, and then is reflected in such a way that it aligns with the focus. Okay? So that's the first one. That's what we call the P F ray. Okay? The second rule, the second way, I mean the second ray is the F P ray. So again, it is exactly opposite the first ray. So how to draw that one? So the second ray, which is the F, B ray, I'm going to color code now. I'm going to use blue for this one. You have a light ray still coming from the top of this image and you align it with the focus like this, right? But the same thing as before, you are not actually going to penetrate the mirror and hit the focus, right? What happens is after that, you just reflect the light ray in such a way that it becomes parallel with the principal axis. So think, think about it as like this. The first ray, PF ray, is parallel, hits the mirror, and then aligns with the focus. The second ray is the opposite. It aligns first with the focus, right? But actually doesn't get to the focus, just hits the mirror, and then gets reflected in a parallel manner with respect to the principal axis. Okay? Now the third one, according to your book, is the CC ray. So again, it's a light ray that aligns with the center of curvature and then it gets reflected on the same line. 
So this one, so I'm going to, again, we are doing color coding now. So this CC ray is going to be red. So this CC ray will still start from the top of this one. And then I will align it with the center of curvature. All right, so I will try to draw it. I will align it with the center of curvature. But again, this time, it will not actually hit or pass to the center of curvature. It just aligns with it. Then after it has aligned with it, it gets reflected on the same line like that. So it goes completely 180 degrees opposite. And then the last ray is the V ray. So the V ray is called the vertex ray so it's a light ray that hits the vertex right so if it hits the vertex remember the vertex is where the principal axis and the surface of the mirror meet so it's here so again from the top going to draw a ray like that it hits the vertex then now I'm going to estimate this angle here and I'm going to reflect it in such a way that it forms the same angle. Okay. So, four rays are complete. The PF ray is the black one, so parallel, then aligns with the focus. Parallel, then aligns with the focus. The FP ray is the opposite. It aligns with the focus first, hits the mirror, and then gets reflected in a parallel manner. CC ray, it aligns with the center of curvature, and then gets reflected in the same line. The V ray hits the vertex, and whatever the angle it forms is with the principal axis, you, can, you estimate it, and you form the reflected ray in such a way that the angle is the same. Right. So now that the four rays are complete, it's time for us to locate the image. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. In our concave example, all the light rays that are reflected meet at the same point. That's why an image is formed. Here, mm, there's no chance of the reflected ray to meet because this ray is going that way, this ray is going this way, and that way, and this way. And so they are diverging. They will never meet anywhere in this direction, right? But what you can do is you can extend the light rays as if they were from the inside of the mirror. What that means is for the PF ray, you can extend it towards the focus, like so, but I will make this um, dashed lines because these are not real light rays. Okay, then I can also do the same for the FP ray. So the reflected ray is this parallel one, remember? Don't extend this in incident ray, just the reflected ray. So this reflected ray, I'm going to extend on this direction. And I'm going to use another color because it doesn't work like that. And then the CC ray. The red one, I'm going to again extend it back. So this is the ray. Extend it back over here. And then finally, the V ray. I'm going to again do not extend this because this is the incident ray. This is the ray coming towards the mirror. What you extend back is the ray that is 
going away from the mirror or the reflected ray. So if I extend this, so if you notice, all of the extended light rays will actually meet at one point. And where is that point? Here. You see? The black one, the red one, the blue one, and the green one meets here. So meaning you have an image form over here. And that is the image form. Okay? <clears throat> so, what are the properties of the image? First and foremost, it is a virtual image. Again, why do I say that it is virtual? Because these rays meet only because we extended them. So, in the real world, these light rays actually do not meet. The only way that they could meet at a certain point is because we assumed that we can extend them inside the mirror. Okay, so it's a virtual image. Number two, well, it is smaller. See the image, the object is this big and the image is only that long, so it's smaller. And then lastly, uh, and then number four, it is upright. Okay, it is upright. And then for the location, well, the location here doesn't matter, but if you really want to be specific, we say that the location of the image is on the other side of the mirror. So it's not here. Not on the object side, but on the opposite side. So on the other side of the mirror. Okay, and so that's how you make images in a concave mirror. You just follow the four rays. The only difference is here in concave mirrors, when you say PF ray, you actually have a parallel ray and then the ray actually passes through the focus. Okay? For convex mirrors, you have a parallel ray and then it does not pass through the focus but it will align with the focus as it gets reflected. So that's it.